horrible. Uh, but it, and it's, you know, every summer we get bouts of lightning. Midwest, I don't know if they get lightning like we get here. They get their tornadoes. We get pretty bad lightning here. We really do. Sean's in uh, Bridgewater. You're on New Jersey 101.5. Hi, Sean. Good evening. Good Lord. Hi, Sean. When I worked in the junkyard down in South Plainfield, the big pile of motors, I mean, it was as big as a house. I was walking past it in the rain, and I saw the lightning bolt hit the top of the motors, and I felt something weird. And then my machine operator, he's laughing his butt off, and he stutters. So it took him a long time to tell me, but he says, you put, you put, you put, you put, you put, you put this guy hit, 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 hit the top of your head by lightning. It's like a little branch came off the main bolt and hit me. It hit most of the motors, all made of metal, steel, and a, and a little branch broke off and hit you on the top of the head. Well, I actually had an umbrella. I actually hit the umbrella, but he, he told me the top of the head. But, oh. but, it felt like but you could have died. Nothing. We, you could die from that. Huh? You could die it from that. like a little tingling. Now, did you have rubber boots on? I don't, I don't think so. I think there's rubber soles on leather boots. Okay, leather well, boots for our soul. That, that should help, yeah. Maybe that grounded you. But, but anyway. So that was your brush with light. Like, and, and it just a tingle. I really think, what was more interesting there, Dennis, though, the story of the actual lightning or the imitation of his friend? Yeah, the stuttering machine operator, heavy machine operator, is much more fascinating than the story itself. There's a little tingling. I get that every day just talking to Judy. <laughs> All right. So, Sean, thank you, my friend. Appreciate the call. And that's another thing. People have gotten struck by lightning or lightning in the area. Right. And some, it throws their heart rhythm off or they get a tingle or ever since then they can't smell oranges or whatever. <laughs> no, they've had some weird effects from people that have been affected by lightning. Yeah. I don't ever remember hearing somebody who couldn't smell oranges yeah, anymore. I can't. Although, you know those people that get bitten by a tick and they can no longer eat meat? That's right. So things happen. Well, your brushes with lightning, 1-800-283-1015 is the phone number. 